Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to add a Toodly video to PowerPoint. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Are you ready to take your PowerPoint presentations to the next level? Well, today we're going to explore how to do that using Toonly. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to need is a topic. So as you can see, I created a little PowerPoint called the future of technology. And I started with three slides and I thought it would be fun to add a Toonly video to my third slide here. So this is my PowerPoint. A couple of slides here. And then we start talking about AI in healthcare. So I thought I would take Toonly and take this little narration right here, just one little paragraph, and use that for my scene. So let's go into Toonly. And we want to start from scratch. I think I'll keep the character. Let's go to scenes. And I have a pre-built scene here, right here, the hospital scene. Let's use that. And then we can get rid of some of these characters here. Use a duplicate. Okay, so now I have my original character and this background of a hospital. I want to add something to represent AI. So I'm going to go to Objects. And let's just look and see if we have a robot. We do not. So for the sake of continuity with my PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to use this same robot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click save his picture and give him a name. And I'm just going to make him a PNG and hit save. Back in Toonly, I can now click upload new object and bring in my robot. Just type the word robot. And here he is. So I can bring him right in here and put him in this computer. like so and we can control how he arrives and when let's make him as long as our scene here we'll make this like a six second scene no so let's make it 10 seconds click the gear icon he's bouncing in right now why don't we have him just fade in and then let's just leave him so he doesn't bounce out or anything. Let's do the same for our character here. I want him instant and instant. And for the background, we're going to turn off the bouncing as well. So here's what we have so far. Our AI guy just kind of fades in. And let's do that the same over here. So let's just take this one and we can copy and paste him and just drag him over here and you can have him just show up at the scene and then let's just add some text here click settings and then we just type it in so we're just going to say AI in healthcare let's choose a color I'm going to bring him to the foreground so he's in the front of the text. And then let's do one more thing with this robot. Copying and pasting. And we're just going to make him larger. And at what point do we want him to come in? Probably as the words finish up. So let's see. Yeah, right here. So now we'll have him come in. And we could leave him where he fades in like that or we could do a little animation and I think it would be fun to do a little animation so let's just have the hand place him so I'm gonna click settings and so instead of fading in we're gonna have the hand place him and let's click the little gear icon and I think this will be kind of fun because it's the humanity adding the robot. So 
put them in from the side like that. And I don't want it coming down that way. I want it coming in like so. And I think that's just fine. Okay, the only thing I don't really care for is this color. So I'm going to go back. And that's fine. This will serve our purposes. So let's go ahead and export it. 720 should be fine. Okay, so there it is. Let's go back into PowerPoint and let's go to our third slide. And I want to bring that video in. So I'm going to go over here to video. And I want movie from file. And then I'm just going to go to that very same folder. Here it is. And right now it's full screen, but over here in the designer tool, which is an AI tool that gives you some different designs that you can use. And we're just going to pick one. I like this one. You can close designer now. By the way, to get to designer, go to home. Click designer right there. Now, I did not put a voiceover in my Toonly video. I'm just pretending this presentation is going to be presented live and the person may just go ahead and click it and talk about in healthcare, artificial intelligence is transforming the patient care, blah, 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 blah. So now there's some few little settings that we can adjust here. If you want to add a border to your video, you certainly can do that. You can apply any of these effects as well. I just added a little shadow there. Let's do a little border. And then if you go to playback, you can also do some edits here. So we don't have any volume on this one because we didn't record a voiceover. But if you wanted to control the volume, you just click here. I'm going to just put it on mute. And then right here, start in click sequence. So right now I have it it's going to start when I click it, but you can also change that. Let's have it come on automatically and you can have it play full screen. If you'd like, you can hide it during the show. You can rewind. I'm going to try looping it until it stopped. You can also have the video fade in or fade out as well as do some basic edits in it. Let's go ahead and play it so you can see what it looks like. And remember, the person presenting will be talking about it. And then this video is just going to loop over and over and over. So the person presenting can just talk and talk and talk, say what they got to say. And this will just be taking place in the background. And there you have it. That's how you can use Toonly and PowerPoint together. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching.